There are a lot of eyes uh, keeping track of the Columbia Space Shuttle and the two astronauts who are now in place out there. Not just the electronic eyes of our television cameras, but hundreds of thousands of people who came here Friday were disappointed that the launch didn't go off and many of them stuck around. We get a report now on the crowd situation surrounding Cape Canaveral and the Kennedy Space Center from Nadine Stewart. Well, I'm sitting here playing and watching the cars go by. I'm sitting and wondering if that old shuttle would fly. If I had to drive back here, I think I would die. Be right there. Right. Well, well it's being made. It was the second time around, but there was no feeling of anticlimax around the Cape this morning. The shuttle had become a symbol. Everyone waiting for liftoff had a personal interest in seeing it go up. Well, I'd like to be an astronaut, but, you know, it takes a lot of courage, and I'd be scared to go up there right now. Anybody can see it on TV, but I got the chance to be here live, so I really see it live. There were traffic jams again, lines that looked like New York rush hour at its worst. A small city had sprung up again around the launch. Everyone had a sense of being part of history, and everyone wanted to record the moment from his own vantage point. Many were seeing their first launch, but Mary Bubb has seen them all, and she's made a special hat for every one of them, especially this one. Well, I started in the beach days way back with a lot of friends of mine who were here tonight with a lot of gathering of the clan. This is way back in the late 50s when they were starting in missiles, you know. And I've seen over, I've seen more launches than anybody else here. And everyone is just as exciting, but this means more to me than any other, I think. It was a carnival, a show that will have one run only. But it was more than that. These people were here because they believe in the shuttle and they wanted to show it. If it's like it'll be a brand new day. What does it mean to me? A whole opening up of the new world. <laughs> I was here to see the space shuttle. Nadine Stewart, NBC News, Cape Canaveral. We're waiting now for the uh, launch control to announce a 20-minute hold. During that 20-minute hold, they will adjust the countdown clock, uh, Tom, as you know. And uh, they will uh, adjust the clock so that the uh, spaceship Columbia will take off just at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're just coming up to the announcement now. Let's listen. Other aircraft and also chase planes. The, the chase planes will not take off until later at the T minus nine minute hold period, uh, with the final plane being launched at T minus five minutes with a very, very tight uh, constraint there. Coming up on the hold, T minus 20 minutes and holding. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Uh, this uh, is a 20 minute hold. And they will do a number of things, readying the uh, so-called chase planes. We're at T minus 20 minutes and holding. And uh, we'll have a number of things happen. Verification that the shuttle landing facility convoy preparations are ready. And uh, we also will have uh, another weather briefing to ensure that everything is go. But as it is now, we know of no problems which would prevent a liftoff on time at 7 a.m. this morning. The T minus 20 minutes and holding, this is shuttle launch control. Yeah, among other things, during the 20 minute hold, they'll be uh, activating the computers that gave them so much trouble the other day. We'll be talking about that in just a few moments with astronaut Joe Kerwin. We have Bob Bazell standing by now down in the VIP area. Where there are a lot of people who came from Washington and across the country to watch the launch on Friday. Not all of them stuck around, obviously. Or I guess that's the situation, Bob. It seems that way. It's much less crowded today, even though NASA chartered a plane for the second time. They uh, chartered a plane bringing down a bunch of people from Washington at about a cost of the taxpayers of about $100,000. I have with me here the, uh, a VIP and the, from the VIP area who didn't come on the, on the plane. It's Steven Spielberg, the man who made the movie Jaws, and more important, I guess, for our, our purposes today, the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. A uh, science fiction movie about uh, meeting people from other planets. Right. How does the reality here uh, compare to your fantasies? Th this is a reality which is much more expensive than my imagination. This is this is uh, the best kind of reality because it's going to uh, get the space program uh, back on uh, both feet and right into the 21st century. So it's uh, so it's really a rather remarkable day. 
How do you feel about being here? Have you seen a launch before? A, a real? I've never seen a launch before. I've never seen. I've I've uh, seen a launch with small ships about seven mm -hmm. inches, uh, but I've only seen special effect launches. Nothing like this. No. Is there things you've seen here that's going to maybe influence what you do in the films in the future? Well, I, I think what's really influential here is the enthusiasm. It, 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 it's really great to know that there are so many people who believe in uh, getting off, off, off Earth for various scientific or even fantasy reasons, and, and it reinforces my belief in science fiction even more. Do you, you have some space reserved on the shuttle, don't you? I have some space, uh, the, next, uh, the next shuttle that carries the canisters. I have a, a small canister. That's right. They're, these are these packages that you can buy for what, sixty thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars? No, I think they range from between twenty and thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. What are you going to put in this canister now that you have a chance to send something up in space? You're putting me on the spot. I, I, I have a few ideas, but nothing, uh, nothing definite yet. I, I, I want it certainly to be. Some, it, it has to be an experimental unit, and it has to, it has to uh, uh, evidence some good. And I'm not quite sure what. I have a few producers I'd like to put up. But uh, that's not permitted yet. <laughs> uh, we have some, I don't have some producers I like to put up, too. Thank you very much for being with us, Mr. Spielberg. John? A uh, little uh, inflation there, I think. A little inflation. Well, yeah, <laughs> actually, you can buy, if you're interested, uh, a space on a, a little compartment on the shuttle for $3,000. And a number of people had been, uh, have bought them. And some, and I'm not sure about Mr. Spielberg, have been given those spaces to uh, use for various purposes. And he hasn't decided what he's going to do with it. The last word we've had from launch control is that the weather here, which is the one variable we're now working with, is satisfactory. So we'll be back with more after this.